Recall our simple parallel circuit with two bulbs powered by a 6 volt battery. And for simplicity, each bulb has a resistance of 2 ohms. Since the two bulbs have the same resistance and both have the same voltage impressed across them, the currents in the bulbs should be the same. How much current? From Ohm's law, 6 volts divided by 2 ohms is 3 amps in each, which means the current drawn by the battery is 6 amps and both bulbs glow with the same brightness. Brightness involves the energy emitted by a bulb, more specifically, the energy emitted per unit of time. Now we're talking about power. Recall that power is the ratio of energy per time. From the definition of voltage, energy per charge, we rearrange it to express energy as charge times voltage. And with substitution, get power equals charge times voltage all over time. But charge per time is current. So we get power equals current times voltage. In shorthand notation, we say P equals IV. What's the power output of each bulb? It's P equals IV equals 3 amps times 6 volts equals 18 amps volts. And units amps volts equal watts. 1 amp times 1 volt equals 1 watt. So the power output of each bulb is 18 watts. What power does the battery supply? 6 amps times 6 volts gives 36 watts. And sure enough, if we add the power in each branch, two bulbs put out 2 times 18 watts equals 36 watts. Check. Let's change the resistance of one of these bulbs. Let it be 3 ohms. Then the current, 6 volts divided by 3 ohms, is 2 amps. Will it glow brighter, dimmer, or glow the same as the 2 ohm bulb? What's your answer? Did you say dimmer because less current at the same voltage means less power? If so, yum! And how much power is emitted by the 3 ohm bulb? Power equals 2 amps times 6 volts, and that's 12 watts. We can see that 12 watts is less than the 18 watts of the lower bulb. So the top bulb is dimmer than the bottom bulb. Does this all make sense? I hope so. There are other equations for electric power. Let's take a look. From P equals IV, substitute Ohm's law for I, and we have P equals V square over R. Yum! Or substitute for V, which Ohm's law says equals IR, then P equals I squared R. So we have three equations for electric power. The more power in circuit devices, the more power the battery has to supply. As more branches are added to a circuit, the battery supplies more current and therefore more power. And it'll wear down faster as load increases. How nice that so many batteries are rechargeable. Let me leave you with a question. Consider a pair of identical light bulbs connected to a battery. I'll use standard symbols for battery and bulb resistances. Will the battery last for a longer time if they're connected in series or in parallel? Or does it make a difference? Until next time, good energy. Mm -hmm.